everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a sort of everyday makeup look for you guys. That's not too much makeup, it's not too heavy, but um, I personally like to do like lots of makeup for a minimal makeup look. Because if I'm going to wear makeup, I'm not just going to make it look like I'm not wearing any makeup. If you know what I mean. Like, of course I don't wear makeup on an everyday basis, but um, yeah. This is just what I've come up for you guys, come up with for you guys, and I, I've really been like loving this and wearing this like every day lately because I really like it. I guess we'll just get straight into the video. Mwah. So first off, when I do any makeup tutorial, I like to cleanse my face in the morning, whether it be a dramatic makeup or um, minimal makeup like I'm doing now. It's just always good to cleanse your face in the morning anyway to get rid of any, I don't know, dirt and makeup that's been left on there during like overnight. So I use the um, Sukin Sensitive Cleansing Lotion and it just looks like that. This one is really good for your skin because it is sensitive like but I don't have sensitive skin but I just bought this one anyway because I thought it would do a better job. Every day of course I do not wear makeup and when I don't wear makeup I like to go for more of a heavy duty moisturizer and I use coconut oil for that and mine's just the Melrose one. And as you can see, I have used basically all of it because I use it for everything. But um, I'm going to be doing a video very soon on like five, maybe five or ten ways that you can use coconut oil because I literally do use that for everything. So um, keep an eye out for that. But um, just for an everyday, if I'm if I am wearing makeup, I will just use um, the Sukin Sensitive Facial 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 um, Facial Moisturizer. There we go. So I try to apply a primer every day and the only primer that I own at the moment, I need to go buy some more so don't judge me, is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Serum Primer and if it's just a simple makeup look like this, I get the primer and I mix it with the moisturizer just so it's just like less of a step I guess you have to do and then I just dot that all over my face, rub it into my fingers and then just rub it all in. Next up for my face I'm just using the e.l.f. tinted moisturizer with SPF 20 but I like to just dab that into my face just like I did the moisturizer and um, rub it all over. So for an everyday makeup look I still do like to apply actual foundation not just a BB cream or anything like that because I like a nice flawless face like every day if I do wear makeup so um, that's why I like to wear foundation but if it's not for everyone you guys don't have to do that but that's just what I like to do. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation which you guys have probably seen in many of my recent other videos because it's one of my holy grail foundations. I love it and it has um, SPF 20 in it and it's a pretty light shade. It's in the shade vanilla but um, it's definitely not good for when I'm fake tanned. But I won't be fake tan but I won't be fake tanning um, too much lately because it is winter here in Australia. So there's not much need to fake tan because I'm covered up anyway because it's actually freezing. I just like to blend that into my face with that. And I just do circular motions with that. Next step that I like to do is concealing and I don't think I could leave the house without concealing if I am wearing makeup, like if I don't wear makeup I obviously don't conceal but I can't not conceal because it's just like a, I don't know, it's just such a, a step that you need to do because I've got really large eyes which causes me to have really big bags under my eyes which sucks but yeah. Anyway, um, I like to use the Too Rimmel concealer. One is the Match Perfection concealer in the shade Ivory. And the other one is the Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade. It's an ivory as well. I like to blend that underneath my eyes. Just a couple little dots under there. On my chin. And my nose. Just to give a little bit of a highlighted effect. And on my forehead. So now I'm just blending that in with my finger. And this is more... I use this concealer around... Blah, 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 blah. I use this concealer around the places of more that you'd like to highlight on your face. And I just pat that in with my finger, with my ring finger because it is the weakest finger so try to do it with this finger always. And I also like to blend 
the rest up onto my eyelid. Do I have any left over? That looks so funny. Okay. Perfect. Alright, now that my face is concealed, I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows before I set my face. So I like to use the um, Essence Eyebrow Designer in Blonde. And this one, this is actually a really, like, what, what do I, what, what could I say this is? This is a really underrated eyebrow product because it is amazing. Actually, a lot of YouTubers do, like, rave about it, but, um, it's not raved about as much as it should be, I don't think. Especially, like, for people that live in Australia and New Zealand, this is, I think you can get this in New Zealand, this brand, if not, I'm my mistake, but, um, it's such a good product. As you can see, one eyebrow is very, this one is very different to that one, but um, I'm pretty sure they're sisters and not twins. I think that's the saying, I'm not sure. It might be cousins and not sisters. Now to set my eyebrows, I like using the Benefit Give Me Brow, but it's not actually mine, it's my mum's, and every time I use it, she, it is a no-no for her. So, um, I have to stick to my Astralis Brow Tint in Blonde as well. Yes, in Blonde. I always forget the, like, the shade of this. It's pretty easy, to, like, because all my eyebrow, eyebrow, the, all my eyebrow products are in Blonde, so. I just like to blend through my eyebrows a bit. But not, I don't like to apply this product heavily through my brows because it gives, like, it really makes my brows really, like, stiff and crunchy and I really hate that. I like them to feel quite natural because I just hate when you touch them and they're like all ewy. All ewy. All, oh my god. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline New Matte Makeup Mattifying Powder in Natural Beige. And this stuff is amazing. Like I bought this, it was on sale for 10 bucks um, at Kmart the other day before I went on um, my Groovin trip. I bought it because I needed a powder and um, it is freaking amazing. Like, it doesn't make your face look cakey. It just sets everything and makes your face look really like matte and like flawless, which I really like. But yeah, so I just push that onto this brush. And this is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's a large, puffy, <laughs> a large powder brush and I like to go over my eyes first just to set my under eyes and then down my nose and over the rest of my face. Now my powder is done I'm going to quickly bronze up my face with the Hula bronzer by Benefit like I normally do. Taking a um, little MAC one a MAC angle brush and just not carving out my cheekbones but um just giving myself a nice bronzed face. So the other day I went to a yoga session and um, it's Bikram yoga. I don't know if you guys know what that is or if you do know what that is. Like then comment down below and tell me what you thought of it if you went to it did it the other day and it is so much harder than you think it is um yoga in 42 degree heat and like it is so stressful but by the end of it it's pretty relaxing but while you're actually doing it it's so just oh i don't i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> um i just contoured my nose a little bit just to give it a little bit of shape for Sorry, and for blush today, I'm going to be using the Napoleon Purtis Blush Patrol. Blush, that's its name, Blush Patrol. And it is super, super pretty. It's got all these flecks of different colours through it, and it also gives a bit of a highlight as well as blush making your face blushy. <laughs> but um, just on my cheekbones, I like to blend that up. And now I'm going to be doing my eyes and for a natural makeup look um, you'd think you just put mascara on and that's it but I love eyeshadow like I love it it's I love playing around with it I love doing different sort of looks so even with an everyday look I 
love using eyeshadow, so I'm going to be using eyeshadow today. You, if that's not your thing for an everyday kind of makeup look, then by all means don't do it, but I really like it. So I'm going to be using the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced, and um, I'm going to be first taking the highlight colour Milk Chocolate right here and blending that all over my lid. And taking the colour Marzipan, I think that's Marzipan, and blending that all over my lid too for make it look a little bit more awake. I'm going to be taking a blending brush and going to be taking the colour Milk Chocolate. Going to be blending that into my crease just to define my eye a little bit, give it a bit more dimension. And with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend that all out. So even though it's not much eyeshadow at all, it still makes like ah, oh, just makes your eyes look very defined and pretty. I think. So now it is time for mascara, and I'm using the Dr. Lewin's Intense Black Mascara, and I don't know what the name is for this actually. Oh wait, no, it's Clarins. It's a Clarins mascara. I thought it was Dr. Lewin's. No, it's Clarins, and I don't know what the name is, but I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, and I'll find the name for it for you. It's such a, I love the bottle of it and everything. It's so like chic. I'm just going to coat my eyelashes with this. And my eyelashes I find are very straight and they point downward. So without using an eyelash curler, which I've been trying to stop using an eyelash curler lately because, um, I don't know, I feel like they're not good for your eyelashes. I feel like they break them. Maybe that's just mine. But, um, I just, I've kind of been given the eyelash curler a rest. I'm trying to let my eyelashes grow a bit. So, I'm just using this to coat now to make my eyes a little bit more awake, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Oh my god. L'Oreal Paris Colorish um, Eye Coal in Maculate Snow. And if you guys don't like that stark white in your eye, like waterline, that's fine. I just like that look. I think it makes your eyes look going to be doing my lips. Lip, lip, lips. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Natural. And for my lip colour, I'm going to be taking Rimmel Vinyl Gloss Voluptually, Voluptually, like whatever. It's a lip gloss in the shade I think it was in Snog. I think it was in the shade Snog. So this is the finished makeup look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really like it. Um, I've been obsessed with this look lately, and um, yeah, I just think it's really like illuminating and just really pretty for like something for an everyday, but a little bit more than minimal makeup. If you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed, as I said before, because I always need to say that like a hundred times in my outros. <sighs> um, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. It really helps me out a lot. If you want me, guys, if you want me to post more videos like this, I can. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you so much. Bye. Mwah. That is all. I love you guys and goodbye. Mwah. <laughs> God, I'm weird.